and welcome back to the Studios channel. My name is Naomi and in today's video we are going to talk about a lesser known productivity method called the Commitment Inventory. Now where I'm from we would say inventory, um, but I'm going to say inventory in this video because otherwise you might not know what I'm talking about. Now let's be very honest, adopting productivity methods can sometimes feel like a very fickle endeavour. In the beginning this shiny new system has everything that you think you need and then after a while sometimes it can lose its charms and things can fall through the cracks and then all of a sudden your system is in pieces and you have no choice but to either blame the system or blame yourself. You can probably tell that I'm speaking from experience and this is where Mark Forster comes in. Like many of us, he struggled to also find a productivity system that he felt worked for him. None of them stuck and he realized that managing his time was not his biggest problem but managing his attention was. Forster's advice is that we simply reduce the amount of things that we have our attention on, and then we focus on doing those things well. In Forster's book, Get Everything Done and Still Have Time to Play, he discusses a system which helps you decide what should even be on your to-do list in the first place. The overpacked schedules and cascading to-do lists that are familiar to so many of us are nipped in the bud. So Forster's commitment inventory could be right for you if you find any of these to be true. If you feel you're stretched too thin, maybe your daily tasks don't align with your priorities, you struggle to say no to new projects, or you just want to be more intentional with what you take on. It ensures that all aspects of your life that are important to you get the attention that they deserve and things that aren't important to you just simply do not make it onto your list in the first place. It should be said that there's quite a lot of upfront work in this system, however the benefits seem to be worth it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to write out a list of all of the areas of commitment and activity that you have in your life. Yes, that means absolutely everything, so all of the things that you need to do to look after yourself, potentially your family, and even the things that you do for fun. The next step here is to define your time frame. So you might want to decide whether you're looking at a day, a week, a month, a year, and then you take each commitment category that you have and you assign it a percentage of your time. Now, unless you figured out how to clone yourself, this needs to total 100% and cut anything that is not a priority in your life. This feels a little ruthless and it's quite hard to do, but actually this is the point of the entire exercise. We think it's quite helpful to actually break this into a pie chart because then you can visualize quite easy how many areas of your life are taking up the biggest and the smallest sections and adjust accordingly. Now, one of Forster's key points is that if anything you're doing in your life makes it onto this list, it is something that deserves to be done well. And so a good rule of thumb is to make sure that none of your categories have less than 10% allocated to them. This is probably another good opportunity to trim that list again. And you need to repeat this as many times as is necessary until you look at your list and you feel like that truly represents the things that are important to you. Now, many people can look at this inventory and think that their work is done, but actually this is the part where the rubber meets the road. You get to look at all of your priorities and then decide on the day-to-day -day tasks that need to be done in order to progress each of these things. And this is where Todoist comes in. So a good way to do this is to have a parent project for each of the categories and then sub projects nested underneath that. So for instance, if one of my categories was that I have to make videos as part of my job, then I might want to have sub projects for each of the videos that I'm making. And now every time that you open up your Todoist, you have a visual reminder of the categories that you've committed to. You might wanna consider these categories to be on lock until you complete your next commitment inventory. And then your projects can be full of all of the tasks that you need to do in order to complete them. So what this now means is that every time you open your Todoist, you have a list of all of the categories of the things that are most important to you. What this does also mean is that whenever something new comes in, it needs to fit into one of those categories, or you need to decide, and it's a hard decision, whether it fits into one of them or it needs to replace one of them, but ultimately it's going to steal time from something if it doesn't fit within a category. So it gives you a really good idea of what you can commit to. I'll link to the article that this video was based on in the description box below in case you want to have a bit of a deeper dive into the commitment inventory. There was an entire book written on this effectively, so there's a lot more to it. In that article, we cover it more in depth. Um, things like Forster will talk about the difference between checklists and to-do lists. And he also talks about a time management strategy that he uses called bursts. 
Now to me these are quite similar to pomodoros, however other people may find them more useful. So as we wrap this up, I would love to know in the comments below if there are any categories in your life that you know you need to spend less time on, any categories in your life that you know you need to spend more time on, or any categories that you would just love to get rid of altogether. What we're going to do is we're going to select someone that's left a comment and is subscribed to the channel and they are going to be given a free year of Todoist Pro. And that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, then please give us a thumbs up because it means a lot when you do. And maybe even consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye. Is that camera straight? Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, say the words. Infantry? That's something different altogether. A list of all the category. I think I'm losing my mind. That's enough. Who even knows what that was supposed to be? And this is where Mark Forster enters the picture. Picture? Picture. <laughs>